Hi, welcome back, craft and decor friends. Today I'm super excited because we're going to make our own miniature bakery with super cute mini cakes, tiny cupcakes, and cookies, and even its own mini shelves. Stick with us and find out how you can create your own. First, let's see what we're going to need. We're going to be using cupcake liners, so pick your favorite color. Also, plastic cups, the smallest you can find. Some cookie cutters, some food coloring. For the shelves, we're going to use some thick cardboard, clear acetate sheets, some vanilla frosting, muffins or your favorite type of crumbly sweet bread, some tea biscuits or graham crackers, chocolate cake Twinkies, and your favorite chocolate bar. Let's start building our shelves. We need to cut out a 32 cm by 6 cm piece of the cardboard. Draw some lines to guide you. And now we need an irregular shape. So measure 8 cm, 8 more here, and 6 here. Draw a line connecting the markers that we just measured. Ask a grown up for help and cut out the cardboard with a cutter. Now make sure you follow the lines that we drew so our shelves look super neat. You can now remove the part that we just cut out and start doing the same thing with the other parts that we drew. Now that we've cut all the parts we need, let's put them together. We're going to use this one as the base of our shelf and these two will be the sides. Make sure they match. Now use some hot silicone glue to put them together. Ask a grown up for help if you need to. Once it's dry, let's glue the top part of our shelf and make sure it matches the sides. Now you use some hot silicone glue and put it together. Just like this. You want to press down really well to make sure that the shelf won't come apart. And it should look like this. Great! Now we're going to use these pieces. This one is 8 by 8 centimeters, and the other one is 8 by 32 centimeters. We're going to use the small ones and glue them to the sides of the bigger one. Make sure you use enough glue to make it extra strong. And once the glue is dry, we're going to set it like this. Now we need the part that we made previously. And when you put them together, you have this beautiful shelf. Now you can glue them together. It's going to be the cutest shelf. Let's use some acrylic paint to give it a lovely color. You choose which color you want to paint it. We're going to paint just the top part, but don't worry, we have something special for the bottom part. It won't be blank. It's going to look fantastic. And now let's work on the bottom part. With some colorful wrapping paper. I told you it had something pretty cool in mind. We made another one of these shapes and painted it the same pink as the top part. We're going to put it right in the middle to give our shelf extra support. And now it's time to make our shelf look super real with some glass. We will use this clear acetate and mark 9 centimeters, And do the same on the other side. And we're going to cut through both of the marks, just like this. So what we're going to do next is put the glass on our shelf. Use some clear glue all over the edges of the top part of the shelf, just as we're doing here. Now put the glass in place and make sure that it fits the front part of the shelf. And here it is. It looks amazing. Look at the glass and all those colors. Great job. Let's work on our next shelf. We have these parts here. This one right here is 2 by 25 centimeters. The one in the middle is 8 by 25 centimeters. And the smaller ones are 8 by 2 centimeters. Let's put them together. Use some hot silicone glue to attach the sides to the base. Make sure it's enough to make it extra strong. Now do the same with the short parts on the sides. And there you have it. This will be the base for one of our shelves. For the top part, we're going to need two of these irregular shapes, which are 6 by 25 centimeters with a larger 8 centimeter base. Then this one in the middle is 25 by 16 centimeters, and this is 25 by 8 centimeters. We're going to attach the white part of the sides to the narrow ones. Use some hot silicone glue and remember to ask a grown up for help because the glue gun gets super hot. Once it's dry, we're going to attach the biggest part that we cut out before. Make sure the edges match before you add the glue. 
And this is how the top of the second shelf should look. Now we just need to put it together with the base that we had worked on before. Again use some hot silicone glue. Let's make this shelf look beautiful with this glittery foam. So what we're going to do next is use hot silicone glue, lots of hot silicone glue, all over the shelf. Make sure you spread it out really well. And now you can attach the foam. And let's trim all the foam that's coming out over the edges. Use your scissors for this. And look, now we can put all of our miniature cakes in it. Great job so far, but we're not done yet. For our last shelf, we drew six circles on our cardboard. We need three different sizes, two of each. Use the cutter to cut them out. Remember, a grown-up should help you with this since the cardboard is really thick. And here are all the circles. Now grab one of the biggest ones and right in the middle here, we're gonna cut an X that goes through the cardboard, like this. What we're gonna do next is put a stick like this one through it. When you're done, do the same thing with the other two smaller circles. And this is how it's going to look. Now we have to trim the stick. This is how these last shelves should look. Aren't they super neat? Now let's add some color. Let's start with the one at the very bottom. Now let's paint the one in the middle with a different color. This pink looks great, don't you think? And finally, the smaller one at the very top. Make sure you use a different color as well. We want our shelves to look super cheerful and colorful. And there you have them. Two amazing shelf towers. But there's something missing. Hmm, let's add some glitter. Use this clear glitter glue all over. Now, they look amazing and ready to use. And don't forget about the other shelf. It looks wonderful too. Now, time to move on to the yummy part. First grab some tea biscuits or graham crackers and we're gonna crush them. Use two pieces of wax paper so it doesn't get too messy. Use a roller and start crushing. Keep going until you get super tiny crumbs. They should look like this. Now we're gonna pour them into a cup or you can use a bowl as well. Now let's add some of that delicious frosting, but just a little. And we're gonna mix it until it turns into something like dough. So keep mixing, it's not ready yet. Perfect, this is how your dough should look. Grab it with your hands and check the texture. You should be able to shape it easily. Now grab a bit of our dough and start shaping it with your fingers. They're going to be the cutest cookies. Once we have all our cookies, we're gonna put them on a tray with a little piece of wax paper. Now we're gonna melt our chocolate bar in the microwave. 30 seconds should be enough. And look, it's completely melted. Now let's add some delicious chocolate chips to our cookies. Let's add some tiny drops of that delicious chocolate, but be careful. You can also disinfect a needle and add some little dots to make smaller chocolate chips. Now we need to completely break up our chocolate cake Twinkies. You can use a spoon for this. Make sure you break them up pretty well. We want to turn them into super small crumbs. Just like this, it's almost ready. Now let's pour it onto some wax paper. And keep pressing it until you get a chocolate dough. It should look just like this. Now let's cut them into shapes with the plastic cups. Put the cup like this and just press it until you get a perfect circle with the dough. Now twist it a little and lift it. Now just trim off the extra bits. Remove all the excess dough and you can use it again to make some more cakes. So here we have the cakes. Now let's put some frosting in four different cups and we're going to add food coloring to each of them. Pour just a tiny drop in and start mixing it until the color becomes even. And here we have four different colors. Our cakes are going to look fantastic and they're going to taste even better. So grab some of the frosting and start decorating. Make sure you spread the frosting all over the cake so it looks super real. Use a Ziploc bag and cut a tiny hole in it to decorate the cake. You can use a different frosting color and mix them to make it look amazing. Now let's decorate another cake. You can try different shapes, like this cute spiral. You can do whatever you like, you just have to use your imagination. And this is how your cakes are gonna look once they're finished. Aren't they so cute and yummy looking? Next we're gonna use these cupcake liners and cut them out. We're only gonna use the bottom part, so you wanna cut it out like this. Now we're gonna crumble apart our muffin. You can use your hands for this, it's quite fun. Make sure you keep doing this until you get super tiny crumbs. And then we're gonna add some frosting and start mixing it. We need to keep mixing until we get a dough, just like the ones we used before. 
Grab some of that dough and put it on some wax paper. You can use your hands to mold it as well. Once we have a shape like this, let's give our mini cupcakes their liners. So we just need to wrap it around and trim the rest of the liner that you're not going to use. And this is how our cupcakes look. Look at them all, they're adorable. And there you have it, your own mini bakery. It's just so cool. And look at all those details. And I bet all of it tastes pretty good too. Well, Craft & Decor friends, that was it for today. Hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you won't miss any of our videos. See you next time.